Good evening, everybody. Welcome to our eventful uh, new year for KCF, that is 2023-24. We had a very, very eventful 22-23, and about seven, eight programs are already lined up for 23-24. Uh, uh, I think 50% of the existing members have already renewed the membership. Uh, rest of the people can take advantage of renewing the membership and taking benefit of uh, registering at a discount for our next program, which our president is going to highlight later on. Getting on to the program directly, we have a very, uh, you can say, Ajka topic that is chat GPT. Like everybody in the world is discussing about this topic. But for many people, uh, we are not aware what this uh, chat GPT is. We might have heard about this word, but we do not know. Many people use it quite differently, like what is AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning. Uh, it's confusing. Are they all uh, similar or are they different? Uh, how people say that it's going to revolutionize our life, the life of students, our daily course. Uh, manufacturers are going to be impacted, service industry like uh, investing, judiciary, everything is going to be impacted. Uh, we need to know, we need to understand. Uh, also, at the same time, when there are advantages of using chat GPT, you also need to understand what are the risks involved in it. For me, one of the questions which comes to my mind is, is it going to increase global warming further because of use of high-end computers? Uh, again, the, this chat GPT is supposed to be from Microsoft, but uh, there is also supposed to be an equivalent from Google. Which one is better? Are there any fakes from other developers? Today, only I read one article about the fakes also. Is it free or paid for? These are all the questions that come to our mind. And the most important is, will I be left behind? if I don't learn to take advantage of chat GPT. So here where we are, where we need to understand that are we supposed to learn this uh, new technology and how difficult it is going to be. To help us out with our uh, queries, we have Neeraj Shah, uh, who has been uh, over here last year previously. He talked about uh, LinkedIn. We had a webinar of Neeraj Shah. And uh, we also later on had a very successful workshop. And this time also, we are going to have the same format where we are going to introduce you uh, chat GPT with Neeraj. And later on next month, we are planning to have a workshop for people who would want to understand more about it. For people who would uh, join new for the first time, let me introduce you Neeraj, uh, about Neeraj. He's a LinkedIn expert, a business growth mentor, and artificial intelligence marketing pioneer 
with 19 years of experience in educating entrepreneurs on elevating their income, influence, and impact. As the founder of Titan Masterminds, he serves the global community of 1.7 million entrepreneurs as one of the top 20 mentors and LinkedIn faculty on the Genius U platform. Recognized as one of the top 200 global thought leaders to follow in 2021 by People Hum's Power List, Neeraj has successfully transitioned into leveraging AI and chat GPT for marketing strategies. He launched the popular workshop, Supercharge Your Marketing with Chat GPT, and has recently spoken to 2,000 people global AI summit called Ride the AI Wave. He was also recently featured in a Chat GPT article in the Sunday Gujarati Midday. With a proven track record in business networking, Neeraj played a pivotal role in growing BNI India from 0 to 10,000 entrepreneurs across 28 cities and generating over US dollars 450 million in revenue. He is also a co-author of the BNI Handy Guide to Networking and a contributing author to the number one Wall Street Journal bestseller that is Masters of Success. Driven by his vision to be a leading global business expert in leveraging AI and chat GPT for success, Neeraj aims to become a keynote speaker at conferences and a regular podcast guest for small business owners, SMEs, solopreneurs, and freelancers. I have known uh, Neeraj for almost two decades now, and I'm sure uh, we would be very thankful to Neeraj for highlighting us to this very novel concept called chat GPT. Over to you, Neeraj, and thank you for accepting our invitation. Thank, thank you so much. So uh, let me just dive into it. Um, last year, 14th of December, 2022, my life changed. I was on a call with a friend of mine from London, and he opened his screen and he said, I'm going to show you something. Uh, I, I'm using his software, and we created some very sophisticated marketing using his software. But to action all of that, it took me two days of solid work, a lot of thinking. And what he did was he opened chat GPT. I hadn't heard of it uh, at that time. And he proceeded in the next 30 minutes to do what had taken me two days work. <laughs> so uh, from that moment on, I was absolutely blown away. I could not believe, uh, I, I, I thought this was some sort of prank or trick or something like that. And immediately the next day, I proceeded to uh, replicate all the steps that he had taught me and apply it to my own business, okay? And because I had already done uh, that particular part in, in those two days, I, I knew what responses I was expecting. And uh, I was really blown away by how incredible and accurate the answers were. And imagine if you could compress two days of work into just 30 minutes and still have better quality, would you not want to know how to use this particular tool? So this is why we are here. There are upsides and there are downsides. We will look at uh, all of those particular things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that you know nothing about ChatGPT, okay? And we'll start from the beginning, but I will give you a more strategic point of view as a business owner uh, in terms of how it will impact your business. And then what we will do is we will get into some key use cases and there is something called prompt engineering, okay? Now, if you want to talk to the artificial intelligence, then you are going to need to learn to speak its language. And the language that you will need to speak is prompt engineering, okay? So I'm going to teach you how to speak to um, the artificial intelligence. And I will show you a couple of key use cases. now. In the use cases, we, we don't have so much time uh, to break down what exactly has happened, but I want you to see the quality and speed at which chat GPT is able to produce uh, these answers, okay? So we'll have fun 
with that. Okay, so let me share my uh, screen. Uh, as 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 we go a little bit later, I will take some questions. We'll have some uh, time for Q and A later. Uh, just make a note of it so you can ask me later. So supercharge your life and business with Chat GPT. Welcome. Um, what is AI and what's going to be its impact? Why are so many people just talking about it from everywhere? What is Chat GPT? What is prompt engineering? As I alluded, it's how to talk to the AI. And I'm going to give you the ABCs of prompt engineering. Um, what are the limitations of chat GPT? Yes, chat GPT is amazing, but there are a number of key limitations and there are some definite concerns. And, you know, one of, one of the key founders, you know, was in front of the uh, US Senate talking about these very openly. So we will talk about some of those. And we will look at five practical use cases uh, of chat GPT in uh, business. Th these are some, I would say quite complex, not your usual simple ones, uh, because I want to kind of show off the power and potential of chat GPT. Now, Elon Musk is definitely concerned about chat GPT and the parent company, OpenAI, he, he was involved in that. Now, he, he's saying that the pace of progress in artificial intelligence is incredibly fast. Unless you have direct exposure to groups like DeepMind, DeepMind is another company that is developing, uh, a, has been doing amazing research and developing a lot of um, use cases. You have no idea how fast it is growing at a pace close to exponential and will talk about that uh, towards the end. The risk of something seriously dangerous happening in the next five or 10 years, he's saying five year time frame or 10 years at the most, okay? So he's saying, you know, just like we had this Terminator movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger where you had this AI go rogue and the AI was trying to kill all humans. Uh, he, he's saying that it could be that seriously dangerous. Goldman Sachs, you would have heard this particular report, you know, is expecting 75 to 375 million jobs may be affected or displaced by the automation um, and they would need to find new jobs. And to, to be fair, a lot of people don't know how those new jobs are going to be created. Now, is it a threat or an opportunity? Well, I believe it will transform your jobs and my experience so far, and I would be spending uh, three to four hours on uh, chat GPT almost daily, okay? Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to transform your jobs. The kind of repetitive mundane things that you are having to do, it is going to be able to do for you and it will be able to do that more elegantly and effectively. Therefore, you are going to have to think more critically. And, and there's a particular uh, analogy that I will share with you about how, you, what this has democratized is that up till now, we may have been playing a particular instrument in the orchestra. What AI now has done is that it's made you the conductor, okay? So the conductor uh, can decide, you know, what the whole orchestra does. So there's going to have to be a really um, big shift in mindset from doing something very specific to being the conductor of the orchestra rather than playing just one instrument uh, in there. So if we embrace the change and we don't panic, we can really harness AI as we've been uh, saying earlier, to have that 10x uh, growth that is there. Okay, so let's look at it. I believe it is revolutionary. Uh, it is going to impact every single industry out there. It is the ultimate force multiplier. It's removing the limitations in thinking. And 
what Elon Musk says is that you get paid in direction, direct proportion to how difficult the problem that you solve. Uh, that's why he's into solving uh, difficult problems. He started with PayPal and, you know, PayPal became a huge uh, hit and completely changed the online payments uh, world. So he really understands that. And then he's gone ahead and uh, got involved with Tesla and SpaceX and uh, all these other uh, companies there and Twitter of late. Now we'll leave aside Twitter for a moment, uh, but you can use AI to solve difficult problems in, in a much more better way. Now there is massive change coming and in the next five years, we will see more change than has happened in the last 100 years. Uh, it, it's mind boggling to uh, think of how much change is happening. Now, let's put it into perspective. In the 1800s, you had the agrarian revolution. And if you owned fertile land, uh, livestock, uh, and knew how to grow crops, you did very well. Then in the 1900s, we had the industrial revolution where factories, machines, and materials were the key components that drove that industrial revolution. And from the 1950s onwards, you've had the information age as the internet got developed, intellectual property, technology, and media, you know, TV, radio, internet, all of those particular things um, began to grow. So now we are going fast forward. And what is the next revolution? It is definitely being underpinned by artificial intelligence, AI. So AI is bringing a lot of change, okay? But with change comes challenges and also comes opportunities. Now, the way I would look at it is this particular analogy. Um, when they train race drivers on the track, they have a special car that you know, can go into spins. The instructor presses a button and you don't know what's going to happen, but suddenly it will go into a spin. It could be a left spin or a right spin. Now, what tends to happen when there's a new driver, you know, the new driver starts looking at the wall on the other side, which they're hurtling towards because they're spinning out of control. And then what the instructor does is that they take the driver's head and shift it to where the open space is, okay? So then what happens is that now your eyesight is not on the wall, the challenges that you're going to face, it is on the free area, which is the opportunities. So what I would like to do is be that uh, driving instructor and focus you on the opportunities. Now, underpinning this is number one, there is algorithms, okay? Because these algorithms are able to take the data and make sense of it very quickly, okay? And because you're able to do things which you've not been able to do. It, it is a tool. And there are some people who are going to use it the wrong way. And there's some people that are going to use it the right way. Okay. Now, the ones that end up using it the wrong way, okay, that is where trust is going to get impacted. Okay. And there are many deep fakes and scams uh, going on. Uh, where you know there are uh, there are uh, on on the app store <laughs> there are other apps pretending to be Chat GPT, which are uh, you know charging you you know thousands of rupees uh, you know to use them without you knowing about that because you think you're using uh, the official Chat GPT. Uh, app and just just to give you the update they've only released the official chat gpt uh, app on the apple i store today so whatever has been there has actually been some sort of 
uh, scam. Okay, so when I initially downloaded that, not knowing about it, uh, when I tried to load it on my Mac, it gave me a warning, and I decided not to end up uh, installing that. And I'm so happy I didn't because it probably would have been one of those um, scams. So trust with deep fakes because you're going to be able to create movies, images where people think they are real, but they're actually fake, okay? And we have seen these particular photos of the Pope and um, you know, many other politicians uh, out there. So you know, it can be used definitely in the wrong way. But now let's focus on what the opportunities are. I believe that the right intention um, we can go in the right direction, okay? So let's, let's look at this. What is ChatGPT? It's a computer program that you can talk to, okay? And it, uh, you can ask it questions and it will answer back like a human. It will answer in a way that you will be able to understand it. And because of that, uh, no other program earlier could do to the level that ChatGPT has been able to do. And even though BARD has now been released by Google, um, it is just not as good because if, if I try the same instructions or chat with ChatGPT4 and I compare it with um, BARD, it, it's completely different. It's like I'm talking to a five-year-old when I'm talking to BARD and if I'm talking to chat GPT-4, then it's like I'm talking to a PhD. Um, it uses a lot of information powered by artificial intelligence and machine learning. Machine learning allows it to learn very fast without having to have specific instructions. It's able to just pick up the necessary trends and patterns and make sense of it. Now, artificial intelligence, what does it mean? It's able to do reasoning and like a human, okay? Out of all this particular data. Now people use it for many things. Um, people are talking about customer service, uh, getting help with writing, all sorts of things. The other day I had to write an email to the principal of my uh, son's school and, and get him some time off uh, because we had a, a a, a very important family um, a function. So, you know, it helped me write that in a very professional uh, way. But we will look at a lot more that it can do. Now, how does it work? Um, it, they've been using it to kind of crawl the internet and all the public spaces out there uh, on the internet. and. It's got a lot of information that has been fed in. And apparently chat GPT-4 has over 1 trillion um, bits of information that have, it has um, been given access to, which is a lot more than its uh, predecessor. When you ask it a question, it finds the best answer from all the information it knows and is able to do it very fast. Now, if you look at chat GPT 3.5, um, which, which everyone is able to access for free, uh, you know, it works very fast, okay? Uh, ChatGPT4, because it is a lot more information available, takes longer, but then you get much more thorough outputs out of that. So in a simple way, it's like having a very super smart friend who seems to know everything uh, and any question you ask, it's able to give a, very convincing answer. So who are the people behind ChatGPT? Okay, there is a company called OpenAI. And OpenAI was actually founded in 2015 by Elon Musk, Sam Altman, Greg Brockman, uh, a number of other people, okay? And these are all people that knew each other from PayPal. So they made a lot of money out of PayPal and have worked on groundbreaking. Uh, technologies before. They want, their goal is very clear. They want to promote and develop friendly AI in a responsible way. Because Elon was always concerned about the 
negative aspect of AI. They said, we want to take the lead in developing something friendly and, and do it in a responsible way. And therefore, Sam Altman, rather than running away from the government, has uh, clearly got in, in front and answered all the questions that people have. They have a lot of high-tech profile, uh, high-tech uh, investors, high profile, um, you know, so the founder of Sun uh, Technologies, um, Infosys is involved, so, so many uh, different people, Peter, Peter Thiel, um, Reid Hoffman, uh, founder of LinkedIn, uh, various people. Um, now, Microsoft plays a vital pivotal role here. Why? Because initially it invested one, billion dollars into helping develop chat GPT. And in January of this year, they invested a further $10 billion, okay? Now they own 51% of chat GPT, okay? Therefore, they are now integrating this into all their Office 365 and all the different suite of products, they're beginning to uh, use this. So it really is become an incredible race. And as we've seen, um, I, I got access to this just yesterday. Uh, we now can browse the net with a plugin uh, within chat GPT-4. So you are able to now, you know, one of the most, the biggest drawbacks was that it had data only up till 2021. Now with this particular plugin, you are able to get real time uh, data. So if you wanted to ask ChatGPT yesterday, you were watching the match, IPL match, and you wanted to know the score right now, it would be able to tell you uh, that. So because of all these amazing things, you know, by, it, it, was, it was released on 16th of November, okay? Um, within one week, it got to 1 million users, okay? By end of January, 2023, it has over 100 million users and they're expecting that by the end of this year, uh, they're predicting that it's going to be over 300 million users. Now, what it's done is it's democratized the access of AI. Up till now, for you to get AI this powerful, you know, you needed to basically work with these large tech companies because it's very expensive for these companies to develop these AI programs. They use those supercomputers uh, so it requires a lot of computing power. Now imagine they gave everyone access to it for free, uh, but, you know, which was unheard of. And then as people began to use it, you know, we were blown away. So just like how my friend discovered it, then you know, he shared it with me and then I was blown away. And then since then I've been sharing it with everyone that I know as well in, in the communities that I'm connected to. So this is my promise. If you use chat GPT, there are three key things that you will get. Number one, there's a huge boost in productivity. Um, all the normal tasks that you do, you will be able to save massive time. Now there's two MIT professors that have just released a uh, research on this. And they've been able to show productivity gains of between 30 to 80 percent. They had a group that had no access to Chat GPT, and they had another group doing the same work with access to Chat GPT. Both productivity increased, but also quality increased. And, and I'll show you some uh, case studies of that uh, a little bit later. And then those of you who are going to embrace this with an open mindset are going to be able to stay ahead. And it is literally just moving so fast ahead. Now that ChatGPT in beta has allowed plugins to happen, then a lot of functionality, which is very specific, like say, if you want to 
get specific information from YouTube, okay? There is a specific plugin that will allow you to access uh, YouTube, uh, all the transcripts, uh, you'll be able to get a summary, all sorts of things. Uh, you'll be able to know what the video is about, all of those things in a split second. So you can do all sorts of research, all, all sorts of things. Where if you're in the stock market, there'll be a plugin that you, know, you can use specifically to get stock price updates. So now those limitations that were there basically uh, are not there. So let's look at this case study. Um, Octopus Energy has some 250 people uh, working in customer service, okay? And they've been experimenting with AI only two months. They've been specifically using ChatGPT and they've been using it in a customer service uh, site. So now Greg Jackson, the CEO said that emails written by AI delivered 80% customer satisfaction, comfortably better than 65% that was achieved by the skilled, trained people. So, you know, it was, it was doing better than the skilled, trained people. Now, they've not let go of anyone. Um, and what I believe is that if you already have a domain expertise, and then you use chat GPT and you understand how to do prompt engineering, which is talking to the AI in the right way, then you will get superior results to what you were able to do earlier. So that's why I say that, you know, when you have the domain expertise, you're not going to be replaced by that, but someone who is using, who has domain expertise and is using AI will definitely outperform you completely. So one of the things that I ended up doing was I, I do a lot of marketing work and uh, this particular work that you see here, th this is a simple lead generation funnel as we call it. So on one end, there's a lead magnet, something valuable like an ebook related to a problem that your customers face. So, you know, first writing it is typically a problem. Um, then, you know, being a social media post to promote it, then inviting people to download it. So then they have to go to a landing page, which is a standalone web page for them to, you know, which encourages them to give their name and email ID. And then once they've done that, they get access to the lead magnet, the ebook or whatever it is, uh, through a welcome email sequence, which introduces yourself, positions you as an expert. And at the end of it, uh, there may be four or five emails that you initially send to educate and inform them and then invite them to have a call with you. So all of this used to you know, typically take us um, you know, half a day, you know, three quarters of a day to do all of this. And, you know, we've done so many of this, so we know how to do these, but we always have to wait for information from the experts, the, the customers that we're dealing. But this now I was able to do in 30 minutes end to end. And, um, you know, this is what I decided then to initially work, start working with our customers on and we've had incredible results. So we've had some, I don't know, three, 250, 300 people already do this and it's been amazing. So now the question comes, you know, how do I talk to the AI? Okay, and this is the formula to talk to the AI. I'm gonna take you through step-by-step step on how to do it, okay? So this is a mini tutorial, but it is a exact tutorial. Trust me, I have been through so many uh, chat GPT videos and training courses, okay? Um, this is the most complete one. Why? Because I see the results, the outputs that we get are far superior to anything that we've seen out there. And we have got it to do very complex things. So I will show you that in a, in a moment. So let me 
uh, help you do this. So after having researched thousands of prompts, uh, I was very unhappy because I was not impressed by the quality. I, I felt we could always do better. And initially, because there weren't many examples, I ended up just figuring out some stuff on my own. And it was me using my expertise in marketing and then learning how to use chat GPT. And this is how I put together this particular magical prompt template. So it's a six part template and I'm gonna help you um, become an expert. So the first thing you want to give it an instruction is that who do you want it to act as? If you ask it to act as a specific expert, okay, it draws upon information that that expert would know. Or if you ex you know, say that you need to be a tool, a CRM or an Excel sheet or something like that, uh, or you, you say, okay, I want you to be a you know, sales expert or uh, you know, whatever it is, okay? So that is one of the things. And how are you going to choose what expertise you decide upon? It's going to depend on the task. So obviously, if, I, if I'm doing something related to finances, then you know I might want to say, uh, you know, be a um, chartered accountant or you know, be a financial analyst. Okay, that is step one. Step two: be specific in terms of what the task is. Okay, so if you tell it, you know, I want you to draft an email. I want you to write a blog post. I want you to do X, Y, Z, you know, be clear and specific about that task. And based on the task, you can end up choosing who, uh, whose expertise would be best. Like say, if I was looking at something related to my warehousing and things like that, then I would say, act as a logistics expert. Okay, and if I have a specific task related to uh, helping streamline my logistics, then I'll, I'll, I'll mention that in this specific task, okay? Now, step three is you want to give it the steps to complete the task. So give it some outline, um, give it some context uh, as well that will guide the AI's response. So for example, in this case, we're doing this follow-up email. We want to mentioned the previous meeting we've had, we want to highlight the specific product, we want to address what concerns this client may have, and we want to be clear about what the next step is. What is, how do we want to move that prospect forward so that they become a customer, okay? So th that would be uh, this information. And don't worry, I will show you with a very specific example, all of these. Step four is you provide further context and constraints, okay? What is relevant that it needs to do? So take, for example, in this case, this prospect has a small business and one of the key decision-making criteria is going to be they want a cost-effective solution. So if I mention that, it's giving that extra context and it will then give you a better response because it will then mention that cost-effective solution in the output, okay? Uh, you can also tell it not to do certain things, okay? So one of the concerns that uh, people have when they are putting together, say, content for content marketing is you don't, you don't want the content to be plagiarized. So you want to say, you know, uh, make sure that there is no plagiarism, okay? So on one side, you're giving context that the, this is Im important information. And on the other side, you're saying, okay, the, you know, don't give me these things. So again, this will help it give a better response. Step five, what is the end objective? Clearly state the goal you want the AI to achieve. So in our example here, persuade the client to move forward with her purchase, or if not a purchase, at least we have the follow-up meeting so we can close them in person. And then lastly, 
you can format the output and, and you'll see some really cool formatting that I'm gonna show you in a moment. Uh, specify the desired output format. Um, this is very useful because it can give a lot of information out. It can give very long outputs out, but you want things that are well formatted, easy to read, things like that. So in this case, you want a professional email, a clear subject line. You want a salutation, a body and a closing, okay? So this is your expectation of the output, okay? So let's bring all of these pieces of information together in one sheet, okay? So here, persona, we want them to act as a sales assistant. Um, that number two, the task is draft a follow-up email, steps, mention the meeting, highlight the product, address the concerns, context, small business that wants cost-effective solutions, goal, persuade the client to purchase or schedule a follow-up, and then the format, it's a professional email. Okay, so these are the key elements. Okay, now let me show you the exact prompt that I would end up using. So act as a sales assistant and draft a follow-up email to a potential client who expressed interest in our product after an initial meeting. The client has a small business and is looking for cost-effective solutions. So now we're giving the context and in the email, make sure to and then mention the initial meeting, express gratitude, highlight the key features of the product, uh, address any concerns or questions the client may have, encourage further engagement and propose the next step. So here you could say, okay, you know, the goal is to persuade the client to move forward with the purchase or schedule a follow-up, okay? And this is the format. So this, now putting all these six things together, if you give a prompt like this, then you will get very superior results uh, compared to, oh, just draft your follow-up email for a potential client. <laughs> so, I want you to remember this acronym, SPACES, okay? Because I've shared a lot of information with you and I want you to write this out. Maybe I want you to take a uh, screenshot, okay? So SPACES will help you remember every time you're putting together a prompt. S stands for the specific task. P, the persona, who do you want it to act as? A, add the constraints and context. C, the command. You know, how do you want it to complete the task, the steps? E, the end goal we want to achieve. And S, the structure, the outputting format. Okay. So just want to uh, quickly take a quick, I, I can see a lot of people have put in comments or uh, things like that. Um, how, how is everyone doing uh, right now? Was this useful so far? Uh, if you can just put in the chat, how are you guys finding it? Am I going too fast? Have I gone above your head or am I going at a good pace? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay, good, good. Yes, someone just mentioned the magic word, okay? Unless you try it, you will have no clue about the power of it, okay? I will just share a very fun, um, a fun analogy, okay? The fun analogy is this, okay? Unless you've had a haircut, okay? You sat in the barber's chair and had a haircut, you will not know what a haircut is. You can hear all you can, uh, you, you'll hear from everyone, oh my God, a haircut is amazing. But until you have a haircut, you won't know what the experience is. So what I want to do is, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna show you someone having a haircut in, in a moment because I'm gonna open up my chat GPT and actually show you some real time uh, examples, okay? now. Uh, Mithil, I'm not going to uh, show you how to generate an Excel or a PPT, okay? 
uh, I'm going to show you some other really uh, cool stuff. Okay. Uh, there are plugins you can get which will live in Google Sheets or uh, Microsoft Excel. And remember, since ChatGPT is now owned 51% by Microsoft, they're integrating it completely with every part of Office 365. They, they are doing that. Okay. So um, let me continue and then I will show you, we'll, we'll delve into some really cool live um, uh, use cases that I have. Okay, um, let me pop up and share my... Um, screen. Okay, so... Um, Okay, so we were here at Spaces. Uh, if you don't have this as a screenshot, please just take a quick screenshot about this. Uh, I have a cool guide, okay? Uh, I will give you my contact after. So I have 21 commands and a very specific guide uh, that I've set up uh, for this. So you can have that. Okay, so let's look at some of the use cases. You know, so how do we uh, get onto ChatGPT? So I want to look at these five key things: um, a strategic business plan, uh, content marketing plan, uh, creating a case study. You know, we all do really good work, but one of the challenges we always have is how do we put together a really good case study? And a case study is really important because it's social proof that you are really good and you've helped someone like me. And therefore conversions are very high uh, when you know how to do a case study. But I know even in the past, no matter whatever my expertise in marketing may be, it used to take me a long time to put together a case study. Okay, I will show you it happened in a split second. Uh, let's look at how we could analyze financial data and do some advisory on that, okay? So I work with a lot of people who uh, are specialists say uh, in financial data and things like that, and they have to give updates, they have to do analysis uh, of the data. So I'm, I'm gonna show you uh, some of the things that can be done directly in ChatGPT and we will address um, the concern you have that, you know, uh, what if this, uh, how private is it? And will this data be used? And will others have access to it? And that is one of the key concerns that people have. And I will show you how you can uh, take care of it. Um, lastly, let's look at how you can create a customized email. Now imagine, you know, I'm doing something for a client and I have to give them an update every month, okay? Um, but for each client, it is a very customized update, okay? No two client will be the same. And say you have hundreds of clients, it is very difficult to do a very customized update, okay? But I'm gonna show you how it's gonna be possible to do that. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so how, how do you get onto uh, chat GPT? Okay, you have to, um, I'll just put it in the uh, chat. Okay, so chat.openai.com. Okay, so if you go to that, if you haven't got an account, okay, you can use either your Gmail or um, Office 365 Outlook um, email to um, sign up, okay? And you will have access to 3.5, okay? Now, 3.5 is the fastest model and everyone has access. It's the free model, okay? Now, you can see here four is the paid version. So that's why here you see in mine, chat GPT plus. Why is it chat GPT plus? Because I have the paid version, okay? And then you can see here, 
the brand new feature that got rolled out to me yesterday is now you can include browsing, uh, you can have plugins, uh, all of these particular things, okay? So now to just save time, what I have done is that I have uh, saved some of these links or some of these prompts, okay? Because I don't wanna waste time, um, you know, writing out the prompt, okay? So here I'm going to open up, okay? Um, a prompt which will help us create a strategic business plan, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just copy that particular prompt, okay? And you will see that, can you see at the bottom, uh, prompt your type of business, okay? So uh, I'm, I'm gonna just choose any um, kind of business. So take for example, I'm a stock broker, okay? Um, yeah, you, you should definitely try the free version. I learned all these things on the free version. And then when I saw how incredible it could be, I, I immediately opted. I mean, $20 a month is nothing uh, for how, how much time it's saving me. So now I'm just pretending for a moment here that I'm a stock broker based in Mumbai, uh, dealing with H&Is who are entrepreneurs, okay? So you, can you see, I'm only giving that amount of data and you can see uh, at the, here it says strategic business plan, okay? So now, because I've understood prompt engineering, I've been able to engineer my own prompts. It's like learning how to code. I, I know how to speak AI, <laughs> chat GPT, and now all I need to do is put, you don't need to know how to do that. If I give you this prompt, all you need to do is put in what your business is. So imagine you just put in this and I click enter. Okay. Now it is working. Okay. Give, 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 give me a second one moment. Um, give me a second. So, um, let me just put here stock broker. Sorry, just give me a second. Uh, I've just put in some, um, okay, let's do this. Okay. So this is where I have ended up uh, doing it, okay? Where, okay, I, I'm not able to access what I wanted to access, okay? So, I'm, I'm just going to um, put here, help me create this strategic business plan for a stock broker who is based in Mumbai and deals with H and I's who are who are successful 
100 lakhs. Okay, so I'm giving this as the command, and now it's giving this strategic business plan for this business owner. Okay, so first it is identifying who would be the ideal prospect. So you can see here, successful entrepreneur has investable assets worth one crore or more, interested in diversifying and growing their wealth, has limited knowledge or time personally to manage their portfolio, open to receiving professional advice on investment. Then, you know, it identifies what are the typical problems that they have. So now it goes a bit deeper into what the problem is. Then it talks about the kind of services. And, you know, if, if you gave it more uh, information, then it would include that uh, in this. And then, you know, it says, you know, th this is all the proof that you need to show. Showcase testimonials, case studies. Uh, from past clients whose portfolios have been successfully managed and grown, you know, highlight the expertise and experience. So, you know, it, what are the certifications or affiliations with relevant financial institutions and bodies? Um, now, this is very interesting. It's showing the path of how do we begin to get these sorts of clients. So it, it's giving you a number of different ways in which it can do that. And then it's even developed a purpose, a higher purpose, which is to empower successful entrepreneurs to help them to grow and manage their wealth effectively, enabling them to focus on their core business and ensuring their financial stability and growth. Okay. Now you can give it feedback and it will end up changing. Um, your own things. So it thrives on feedback. Okay. So, you know, I, I've ended up training it on so many different uh, things because as a business coach, I, I work with my clients on these sorts of things. These sorts of things end up taking a lot of time, um, you know, getting this information, but imagine we're able to get this in a split second to, you know, really begin to uh, work this. Okay, so let me uh, show you something else. Just give me a second. So uh, now you might want to do some content marketing. So an SEO, um, you know, definitely is, is a way to do it. Okay, so I'm going to just copy uh, this particular um, prompt. Okay. And then I will uh, start a new chat and I will put the prompt in here and then it will ask me the target keyword. Now say um, I, I, I want something related to what I do, okay? Or like say with the, um, investing in equities okay say i'm that stockbroker okay in india okay so now it is creating a, a table it is giving me uh, a keyword it is giving me, what is the search intent? Is it a commercial keyword? Is it helping inform? Is it helping uh, create a transaction? And you know, it's, it's giving some very specific things. It's giving a title that I could uh, end up creating. So I could end up doing a blog on this, a comprehensive guide to investing in Indian stocks, okay? And here it's even giving me the meta description, okay? To do all of this, you know, you would have to be a SEO expert, okay? But it has now been able to do all of that. So you can see here, it's identified 
some super categories, so stock market in India, share market, um, because it knows that a lot of people here don't call it by uh, stock market, but they call it share market, NSE, um, equity investment, blue chip stocks, dividend investing, mutual funds, SIP, um, you know, you name it, uh, it's, it's managed to do it, okay? And you saw it was able to do it in literally in seconds. Okay, now let's quickly show you something else. Okay, so let's let's do a case study. Okay, so again, um, this is a case study format that we put together. Okay, and I will just take you, again, I will start a new chat and I end up putting this in. Now, this is an actual customer of mine um that we ended up um helping so I, I press enter okay and what it's done is it is created a email okay why because i specifically had asked it to create an email which where i was going to use the uh, case study Okay, and it then, you know, my uh, end goal here is that, you know, people should sign up uh, for this like five day LinkedIn personal branding challenge. Okay, so here you can see it's already done that. Okay, um, so here, let me introduce you to Sonakshi Pratap. Uh, she's, she's the founder of um, leadzen.ai. Um, you know, what was the challenge that she was facing? And you can see it's written in a fun way. So now she had a challenge as spicy as a habanero pepper. Okay, why? Because I asked it to write with a little bit of humor. Okay, a LinkedIn strategy was as clear as a foggy mirror. And to top it off, she got slapped with account restrictions due to some serious LinkedIn missteps. Ouch. The impact was brutal. Uh, you know, Sonakshi's posts were lonely as a deserted island with zero engagement and zilch leads from her target market. Talk about a social media ice age. So if I write and you receive an email like this, you, you know this is not a normal email, okay? Uh, and it would require someone who has a lot of skill to be able to write um, in such a cool way, okay? And then, you know, it, it's ended our team of LinkedIn superheroes armed with the power of diagnosis. So it then gets into what we ended up doing. And then, you know, how do we transform? So it, it looks at three very specific um, ways in which we helped. And then, you know, it says, what were the results? Uh, so she, her first post got 52,000 views in 24 hours. You know, can we, can you say viral? <laughs> Uh, you know, then her video got some, I don't know, 5,700 views. And the best thing was between those two posts, she booked 15 demos for her SaaS software. Okay. And then at the end, it says, you know, sign up for our, our thing. Okay. So this is how powerful it can be if you know what you are doing. Okay. So now let me, sh let me show you this. Um, this is something really quite interesting. Now, imagine that you have a financial portfolio, you have a model portfolio, and then you have the real results uh, where someone's portfolio has ended up uh, outperforming, okay? And we need to analyze initially uh, what recommendations do we need to make to this client to rebalance the portfolio. Okay, so now I am uh, going to again uh, do this. So give me a second. I'll do it in a new chat. Uh, let's use GPT-4 as well. And then, okay. So it's done the analysis. It's ended up also creating a email Okay, 
and now it, it's even doing the formatting of the um, results. Okay, so now it, it's showing the name of the scheme, um, you know, the initial model allocation, how much it was, what is the current allocation, so you, you know, how has it changed? Um, you know, so all of that analysis, it has been able to do, okay? And it's given you a, one which has really outperformed very well. And now it's saying that, you know, we recommend that you take the following steps to rebalance. And it's giving very specific recommendations. Okay, and now at the end, it's saying, let's schedule uh, in-person call, okay? Uh, so that you better understand the challenges and you know, you're comfortable with what we're proposing, okay? So, I mean, I, I can go on and on and on uh, showing you uh, these sorts of things. So, How 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 is the, how are people finding this? Yeah. So, is there a feature or plugin to upload uh, stuff and ask it to analyze? Yes. So, um, remember, I was saying that you could take Excel and have a plugin of ChatGPT. So, there are these sorts of plugins uh, there, and as Time goes on, you will have native plugins which directly work with Chat GPT itself. So you don't have to leave Chat GPT. Okay. Now, one, one of the questions that people have asked is that. Uh, know, Nida, yeah. just a second. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you some time to go through the questions. Yes. Uh, and in the meanwhile, I'll yeah. invite our president, Mr. Kirit Gala, yes. to highlight about our next program. Uh, on 10x, which is on 15th and 16th of June at Redis and Lonawala. So we'll take a couple of minutes. In the meanwhile, you can go through the questions and we'll uh, resume the Q&A. Yeah, over to you, Kirit. Bye. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, very good evening to all of you. Uh, Neeraj, you are really outstanding. And, uh, you know, we always thought uh, in last how many years, what happened, which will happen in next five years, the number keeps increasing. Like uh, 10 years before we thought what happened in last 20 years will happen in five. And now you're saying what happened in last 100 years will happen in five to 10 years. So I think the change is so rapid and rampant uh, that it is really almost practically impossible to, you know, kind of keep pace with this change unless we are always on our toes and keep reinventing ourselves and our organizations. So, uh, I think that's where uh, you know organizations like KCF uh, come in the picture and uh, yes. really happy to have you and uh, very good evening to all of you guys. Uh, I just uh, have one minute or one and a half minutes with me. I will just tell you what happened last year. We conceptualized something called 10X. So we are all tuned psychologically to think incrementally. You know, we think of 5%, 10% improvement, 15% improvement. We wanted to challenge this conventional thinking. So we came up with the concept of 10x growth, you know. So when you start thinking of 10x growth, you start really challenging your own mindset, challenging your people's mindset, your, the whole outlook changes. And that what was the theme of last year. Uh, we had a very successful uh, 10x growth summit last June 2022. Uh, we had uh, 15 speakers and more than 100 participants, which almost everybody stayed overnight. And uh, the best part was the networking. Uh, and if you happen to meet any of these last year's participants, they will tell you more about how it went. And I think uh, we had a great time. So I invite all of you to join 10X Growth Summit this time, again in June uh, 23 at Redison, Lonawala. Uh, what we are trying to do here is combine the successful business people 
who are in kind of traditional business, brick and mortar business, you know, who have been either inherited from father or have done their on their own with the new startup world, with the young generation. So uh, we have uh, four topics. Uh, can you change the slide, please? Uh, Vivek, we need to change the slide here. Yeah. So we have uh, strategies for 10x growth in revenue and valuations uh, where Parag uh, from Prince Pipes, uh, which is almost 6,000 crore market cap now, is going to lead the speaking, uh, you know, the, the platform. Uh, we have Dr. Sanjay Arora, who sold, uh, he established suburban diagnostics and sold it to Dr. Lal Path Lab for about 1000 crores. Uh, he's the another speaker. And then we will have a panel where uh, Atul will join. Atul is a partner of Deloitte uh, on growth and strategic growth. So basically, uh, as a consultant, we also have uh, inducting and nurturing young talent where two generations of two big uh, houses uh, you know, they will represent the organization. So one is Navneet, Sunirbhai and uh, Harshil. And we have VTrans this time, Mahendrabhai and Viral. So uh, we are kind of, uh, Bashesh will, is going to have, do the anchoring here. And we will talk about not only the family transition, the professionalizing of family business, but also, you know, in a broad sense, how do you induct and nurture the young talent? Uh, because as you know, this, the, pace of change is so fast that you need to have induction of young talent all the time and you have to learn how to induct them and nurture them so this is the theme uh, there is very interesting conversation uh, by ankur bansal who is uh, the co-founder of black soil of balancing profitability and high growth so normally in the startup world it is always believed that the more losses you make the higher the valuation this was really thing in the past and uh, last year has seen a lot of correction, a uh, lot of uh, drying of venture capital, as you can call it. And we are working on, we are, you know, highlighting some of these aspects. We have two very profitable startups, uh, which are venture funded by uh, Black Soil. But uh, these three gentlemen forms a panel and uh, it will be very interesting to understand how do you really balance high growth with profit? It's a very, very frequent question that if I keep growing at certain rate, particularly about 20, 25, 30%, I cannot maintain the profitability. And I think it's a real challenge, but uh, uh, there is going to be some discussion. And of course, there is uh, there are two more sessions. In fact, one is not mentioned here. We are trying to get some uh, experts on equity market investments. Uh, and but the, what we have already is Sandeep uh, is a portfolio manager of uh, Nine Rivers Capital, and he is going to tell us uh, about various companies which have grown 10x in less than 10 years in the stock market. What were the key learning? What were the key elements? So not from technical analysis perspective, but from management perspective, from strategy perspective, uh, from the mindset. The what changed the thinking? So. This is what we have gathered so far, uh, uh, but I'm telling you more than knowledge, it is the networking, meeting of these kind of people uh, and, uh, you know, having fun together. That will really matter a lot. So I invite all of you to join uh, uh, this 10x. Uh, we have some discount or some fee structure which uh, he can display. And, uh, you know, so basically some fees you know, and these are subsidized rates. Trust me, we, we, when we calculate, we are actually, it's a non-profit organization. And here we will probably need sponsors to take it further. But uh, the fees range from 13,000 to some 15, 20,000. And uh, we also have one day passes. So uh, I don't want to talk more about these uh, things, but uh, I think uh, it will be really, really beneficial to attend this. And I really look forward to see Many of you there. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kirit Bhai. Uh, we never had a vision of uh, talking about a 10x growth. We always used to talk or any consultants also when you meet. It's about the incremental growth. But uh, Kirit Bhai ne aake Bombay port dala. Ki unless you think really, really very big, to munki ni nahi hai. And uh, type of program that we have had in, uh, in the previous 12 months really makes us now think that uh, growing 10x can be a reality. 
ये प्रोग्राम सेमिनार्स में अटेंड करना पड़ेगा सुनना पड़ेगा टेक द हेल्प ऑफ लाइक्स ऑफ नीरज शाह लर्न द न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी लाइक चैट जीपीटी एंड सबसे जिससे जो जो सीख सकते सीखो बट इट इज वेरी मच पॉसिबल द इकोनॉमिक प्लेटफॉर्म इज नाउ रेडी फॉर इंडिया फॉर दैट जाइंट लीड एंड वॉट अ वे टू स्टार्ट दिस न्यू ईयर विथ चैट जीपीटी thank you kirit bhai for uh, giving us that vision uh, uh neeraj uh, you would have gone through the questions yes so you can you can uh, sure. yeah so, so yeah thank you um okay so so one of the questions that was asked is uh, can we use ai to make powerpoints okay and uh, i've tried many of the um, ones out there okay Uh, i'm just going to put the link in for the one that i have found to be the best and it, and the best thing is it's for free and literally with a few just like a very simple prompt it will put together the entire um powerpoint for you so i've just put it gamma app you know is it, is is the is the one so i've just put in the link if you just click on it you will be able to you know sign up using google it's for free um and you know i be blown away by by how good it is um couple of other things i just wanted to show you um look there are many different uh, tools out there depending on what you want to do if you want to create images there is something called mid journey and stable uh, diffusion okay um adobe express has uh, something so that you can end up uh, creating uh, animated video for free um and you can you know upload a voice over or things like that so you can put together some really amazing uh, things from that so that is there uh, does chat gpt uh, support different languages yes uh, it does so you can get outputs uh, in different languages or you can talk to it in in different languages so that's really quite uh, amazing um let me just show you one thing here so if i go into settings okay there is something called data controls okay so if you want your chat history to be shared with them then you know you can keep it on if you don't want to okay then you can put this off okay if i put it off like that okay then uh, it won't be there okay so that is how you can control and it will remain um on your system for you know uh, 30 up to 30 days okay and so this is a interesting way of doing it um there are some i'll just show you some chrome plugins so this is uh, what i was telling you about this powerpoint you know new with ai and you can end up creating some amazing uh thanks for that but i wanted to show you something different is if you see here on my left hand side you can see that i have been able to put uh the different prompts that i have put together in a folder okay so there is a a free plugin called uh superpower for chat gpt which allows me then to uh, do that so these are all things that i trained um related to linkedin and it's there so prompt engineering um you know that is there so this is a really interesting way i can do okay um can we analyze indian laws and acts um well now that the uh web browsing is available then i think you could actually uh, uh specify which uh websites you wanted to look at 
Okay, so I think that is going to be definitely possible. And I'm sure with time, there will be some plugins uh, that will be made so you can uh, begin to access these sorts of things. So yes, from a legal perspective, you know, you'll be able to get um, you know, a lot of information to help you put together, but this is where then experience also comes in, uh, knowing what things to ask it, uh, having different references, uh, all of those uh, uh, things. You can now begin to also ask chat GPT for, for the specific um, URLs from where it has drawn that specific data. So you can begin to uh, know where that has come from and, and just fact check uh, that. Um, I think we've covered most of the- There were questions on uh, concerns on privacy, security, yeah. about your other bank details and all that are all on your PC and all. Are they at risk? Um, look, it doesn't have a direct, uh, unless you're starting to feed that data in, which I would not suggest that you do, okay? So don't end up uh, putting that particular data in into anything to do with chat GPT. That, therefore, that's why, you know, uh, Samsung had an issue, right? Samsung uh, engineers ended up putting some uh, proprietary code, uh, which they were using in chat GPT during a, a conference. And uh, that now, you know, ended up uh, getting leaked. So, you know, I wouldn't end up putting the, any of those private confidential, uh, you know, details uh, in this. But you can see that there are these data privacy uh, things where you can choose. Now, there are new uh, chat GPTs, which I have yet to try, which are going to uh, work only on your computer, okay? And then you can feed it uh, your data. It does, no one from outside has access uh, to that, but it will have the functionality uh, of what you can do with ChatGPT. So I've not yet tried it. Um, there is someone who shared that with me yesterday. So I have yet to uh, try that out. Um, but you have to be careful uh, about this and do a little bit of homework uh, on these things. Um, there is information and there's misinformation available. I wanted to quickly just share there are seven key challenges that you need to be aware of, okay? Uh, number one, it su suffers from what it calls AI hallucinations. So say you're looking for a quote from a particular person, it can give, it, give you with confidence someone else's quote and say that, oh, this person ended up quoting this, okay? So you've got to make sure you fact check uh, those if, if you are citing a particular research, okay? So then there are the specialist uh, plugins which will be able to get that and you know you have to do that due diligence one of the challenges was that it was trained on internet data until june 2021 as of yesterday now with this plugin that gives you access directly to the internet then you're able to get the latest of what is happening um, third it may fail to understand the context so it misunderstands the context and therefore ends up giving you uh, the wrong answer, or it can end up giving you some nonsensical answers. There have been in instances where someone has been asking the same question over and over again, and um, it, it, it almost ended up give, becoming upset. <laughs> um, there are big copyright concerns because uh, it's not very clear how, you know, what they have ended up crawling in terms of the web data and Pearson and even Twitter right now, um, Elon Musk as of today uh, has, has shot, I think it seems to be a letter to Microsoft saying that they've ended up using Twitter data. Now, um, you know, you have to read between the lines what is happening uh, there. Pearson, which does a lot of uh, books 
uh, specialist books, subject matter books, they have apparently sent some notices. They're not saying who they've sent notices to. So it'd be interesting uh, about that. So these are all definitely concerns. And uh, lastly, you know, it cannot multitask. So you can't, you know, ask it to do one thing and then, you know, suddenly ask it to do something else in the same chat. You have to end up starting a new uh, chat for that. Otherwise it will get very mixed up um, in terms of the answers. And lastly, it may look like it has empathy, but at the end of the day, it is a machine. So it's been trained. Some of the models have been trained on empathy, but they don't actually give that empathy. So I think, um, you know, with that, uh, I mean, I could go on for a long time. I'll just, I want to share this one last video, which I think is very interesting. Um, Listen to this guy. Market. I've been watching AI closely for a while, and we've reached what they call the elbow of the exponential curve. So exponential technologies start, and they seem where they're not making any progress, and then they hit the elbow of the curve, and it seems almost to be a straight vertical. And the key is to not get left behind. So please, don't waste a single minute lamenting how things are changing. Change is inevitable, and change at this speed is dangerous if you're not paying attention. By the way, if you don't know who I am, I'm Tom Billy, co-founder of Quest Nutrition and Impact Theory. Uh, one of those companies I sold for a billion dollars, and the other one has generated roughly half a billion views. I've made a lot of money and touched a lot of lives by seeing opportunities that others have missed, and I'm telling you, AI is the opportunity that you've been waiting for, but you have to make a move. Given how much AI has already altered our systems, over the next few years, I'm expecting it to majorly accelerate our ability to test and learn, not just here, in society. And whoever learns the fastest is going to win. So yeah, with that, I think um, I uh, hand over to Mukesh Bhai. I think we're looking to do a, a chat GPT program where we can take you through how to do, use it for your marketing and get started with this. Um, over to you. Yeah, Neeraj, our LinkedIn uh, workshop uh, was really very much appreciated. People who wanted to learn the advanced thing. Same uh, thing, people are, are showing interest for uh, knowing how to enhance the skills in using chat GPT. So we are going to, we are planning to have a uh, workshop which will be virtual because you need to have your PCs or laptops uh, with you along with the internet to be able to use it. So we we are going to have it uh, next month. Uh, there are still few more questions, but I think uh, this uh, session has taken much much more time than we anticipated uh, because there were a lot of questions and a lot of details have been shared by Neeraj. So I would invite all those people who are having a lot of questions to attend the workshop where you will get uh, answers to all those things. So thank you, Neeraj, uh, very much for accepting our invitation and do this uh, webinar for the benefit of our members. And I sincerely appreciate the attendance of all our members. And I could see our uh, past president, Mr. Ashok Shah also, whom we, are, we always see that he is present he was there since starting and uh, till now he is there. Very, very appreciative for, for all the programs that we do. Thank you, Ashok Bhai, for being there and motivating us. And uh, thank you, everyone. And uh, have a good night. Thank you again. Thanks, Nita. Thank you.